Yo, hello and welcome. Today we're going to be boxing off the wheel arch. It's a pretty simple job. All you need is a saw, a drill and a little bit of wood. There's not many ways to box off a wheel arch. You either do a square or you follow the slants of the wheel arch. I mean, yeah, you could come up with some mad crazy design, turn it into some sort of shell for a step, you know. There's, so technically there's loads of ways you could do it. In terms of simplicity, yeah, it's either slants either side or a box. So I'm just going with a basic box. The room you lose is negligible if you were going to go for a slanted box. The reason I'm choosing a square solid box is that on the left hand side that will end up supporting part of my layout. On the right hand side the box might actually become a step to my bed, I haven't decided. But either way it's nice, strong, simple, so that's what I'm going with. Okay, so the start is pretty simple. All I'm going to do is take some measurements and then make a little design. Oh. Alright, you might notice there that I took two sets of measurements and that's because I wanted to measure the actual size of the wheel arch but also I needed to make sure I was measuring to where the actual wood goes so that when I go to screw it in I'm not missing and just going into the foam board. And again, this is my daily, so I have put some vinyl flooring back in. It would have been easier measuring if I'd just taken it out again. I'm going to start this section by showing off my amazing drawing skills. Here we go. Pink lines coming together to form a basic box shape. Woo! Now I'm going to remove the picture so it's a bit easier to see, but we are missing this back section. Just got to bear that in mind when you're making your measurements and putting your design together. My wheel arch box may end up supporting some of the units in my camper van build. So first I'm going to put in some load bearing beams to give the top section some real support. After that obviously we're going to put some legs underneath to make sure they're not going anywhere. Then I'm going to add some bits around the floor section here. This is basically just to fix it down so it doesn't move anywhere. And then finally we'll just add some beams across here. That way we can put the end pieces on and it just gives it a bit more structure. Let's add the picture back in for a second. Once the frame's ready to go, we'll start with the top piece. This will have a slight overhang towards the inside of the van. The side piece will go on next and it will go underneath this overhang to give it a little bit of extra support. And then finally, the end pieces, which will box it off and just make a nice solid structure. Okay, so we've got our measurements, we've got our rough idea of what we want to do. Next, it's time to start doing some drawing. Now, it is only a box, but you want to make sure all your measurements add up correctly. If you get this part right, it is just a matter of chopping and assembling it like it's a Lego kit. So, I had some of this stuff lying around, and as I said, I want this box to be sturdy enough to support some of my camper van units. With this stuff, it wasn't going anywhere. So, measured these up, factored them into my plans, then I started marking everything out. Once I had all the pieces marked out, I went to pick it up and nearly threw my back out. Um, it weighed a ton. It weighed way too much for two wheel arch boxes. So I had to go back to stage one. The problem was, at this point, I was going away in the camper van the next week. So luckily I had some of this stuff left over from the floor projects. Now I didn't have enough to do exactly what I wanted to do, but I had enough to bodge it together. And why am I telling you this instead of just showing you on a video? Well, I bought a new memory card that I didn't format correctly and it ruined all my footage. So we will carry on with me getting the wood together in a very YouTube-y style way.
I did a boo-boo. Somehow, in all the confusion, I made these end pieces, which are perfect, by the way. But I only made two, and there is two pieces per box, and there is two boxes, so I need four. So I'm going to finish this box up, and then see if I've got any spare wood around. When it's over. And that is my wheel latch box done, for now. The reason I say that is you saw in the last clip that the box has not been attached yet, and there is a few reasons for this. First is the flooring. At the moment, I've got the old vinyl floor in there. I've got to decide what I'm doing with the flooring. Am I getting new vinyl? Am I gonna use some wooden laminate? Am I gonna use some proper wood? I've got to decide 100% before I start screwing into it. Second, I've got to do the wall first, because that box has to sit snug against the wall. Uh, when I do start doing the wall, I'm going to be using shredded plastic bottles. I'm going to be putting some of that insulation inside the wheel arch box, as well as another layer of Reflectix, because we spent all that time insulating the floor, I'm going to be spending time insulating the wall, but there's no real insulation around the wheel arch. So I want to make sure everything is solid to cut down on as much heat loss as possible. So. The box project itself, somehow I've managed to mess that up. It seems to be a recurring theme of me just messing simple things up. Um, first one, I should have factored the weight of the wood in. You know, I'd never really thought about it before, but there's gonna be a lot going into a camper van, so you've really gotta focus on that. Two, I had a new jigsaw and it was it was slightly off. Like I've taken it back and got it replaced now, but that has caused a nice jaggedy edge on one of the pieces. So I'm either going to like sand that down flat so it's rounded or do something with it or get an entirely new piece of wood, I don't know yet. Oh yes, and the end pieces. Um, I designed two end pieces and forgot that I needed four end pieces. Uh, I didn't quite have a big enough piece of wood so one of the pieces has got a gap in it, I've got to replace that as well. Um, so yeah, really messed up, quite a simple project. But you know, for now, they're sat in my van with the bodge build, which you'll see in the next video. So they're not going anywhere for a while. Um, I'll be able to pick it up in a future video. But yeah, that's, that's everything. Nice, easy, quick video. And yeah, I'll see you in the bodge build coming up in the next week or two. All right, take it easy.